Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a picture taken on a fairly dull day that has got no life about it. We, we could try relighting it or something, and but why not go the other way and make it even grottier? What about making it sort of like an old stained picture? Here's an easy way to do that. We start off, we're just going to add a new layer. Add the pixel layer and the basis for the grot is going to be Perlin noise, which is a strange thing. I've got filters, noise, Perlin noise. And this is like what Photoshop calls clouds, which might be a nicer name, but there we go. So here we got Perlin noise here. This, uh, the octaves does little bits, but not a lot. Persistence does some stuff, but often kind of could have run you know, a little bit too much there, but in the middle. And zoom is quite interesting because it effectively zooms in, etc. to go from, you know, sort of that sort of thing. But something around here, even all the way in like that, is a way of uh, doing this. So let's just apply that. And all we do now is go to here and go to overlay or one of the blend modes beneath that. Hard light looks okay there um, and what's that look like if you don't quite it's not enough grot in that we can do things to it we can actually go back and just go whilst look at it filters noise purling noise and change some of this maybe bring this down a bit you can see the effect there we can bring this up to something we like or we can play around with some of the others, maybe that's enough grot, but take your time, have a play. And then what we can do is add a bit of colour to it. So let's go to adjustments and recolour. Ooh, that's pretty horrible. So let's go up, you know, make it sort of an orangey, yellowy thing. And then we need to bring the saturation way, 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 way down. So it's just a bit of a, a kind of tint on it. Um, does this do anything? Uh, maybe a little bit. So that's something we can do. If there's like too much contrast across this, I want to ease that off again. Another thing we can do is go to adjustments and curves. And then we want to flatten that with curves. We want less contrast. So we just bring one side up a bit and the other side down a bit. So that flattens that colouring of the purling noise. And you can, if you move the whole thing up, it gets brighter and the whole thing down, it gets darker. So let's see that before and after. There we go, that's interesting, isn't it? I can still go back to this and say, let's play with the purling noise. Put it in again for file, noise, purling noise. And what I can do with this, if let's control and zoom out a little bit because what we can do is if we zoom back a bit to get sort of a grottier thing let's turn off the background so we can see it so we're going to zoom in here so there's more of the, the cloudy shape because if we don't know where we want to put it we can actually apply that to that then go to the move tool here and increase the size of this here and we're kind of zooming in now like the zoom control on purling noise but now we can move it around as we like so if we turn the bottom layer back on again now we can move around and position where the grot goes and there we go let's stop there but you can see the way you go from a kind of average picture to a nicely sort of aged picture you know, that was a bit of fun and thank you very much for watching.